hello everyone welcome to our uh, next uh, video of the tutorial google earth engine for the beginners so in today's video we will learn about uh, enhanced vegetation index uh, what is the difference between enhanced vegetation index and the normalized differential vegetation index so the method to calculate uh, ndvi i have explained earlier in the previous videos please go and watch the ndvi video for the further details and uh, we will also uh, learn about how to create an expression in the google earth engine and uh, how to interpret uh, the enhanced vegetation index values and what is the formula how we can create an expression in the google earth engine everything will be discussed uh, in this video so uh, let us start uh, uh, so before starting uh, we should know what is the enhanced vegetation index uh, evi for the short so it is uh, designed to minimize the saturation and uh, other issues with the ndvi and it is an uh, index uh, which is uh, used for detecting uh, the high chlorophyll content for example in the rainforest and it uh, does not get a uh, saturate uh, that uh, it will not reach any minimum maximum values and uh, in the same way the ndvi does uh, so this evi making it uh, easier uh, for uh, examination of the variations in the vegetation of these regions so the evi is calculated uh, using the formula this formula evi is equal to g into near infrared and red band and some constants values are used so in this formula the g c1 c2 and l are the constants so uh, these uh, constants we do not need to memorize uh, any of the constant uh, they have been already determined by other researchers and they are available online for uh, free uh, for us to look it up so since we are using the sentinel 2 data uh, these are these are the constant values uh, for the sentinel 2 data which have been uh, replaced by their uh, constant values so let us start uh, by importing our sentinel 2 data in the google earth engine getting back to our uh, google earth engine and uh, import sentinel 2a for the latest date so clicking on import rename it as s2 and uh, create a variable image and select our sentinel 2 data filter it to bounds by using the function filter bounds to ROI so before going further let us create one region of interest uh, let us go to uh, dense forests of western uh, guards uh, in the Karnataka region so yeah I am creating an uh, shapefile or the region of interest uh, using the create geometry tool in the google earth engine so this has been explained earlier in the previous videos if you have any kind of doubt you can watch the previous video and uncheck our geometry so we have to do the settings uh, let it be feature collection and create a property of id one for our convenience okay so uncheck the geometry and uh, we are filtering our uh, satellite data into a single image uh, we have uh, applied the filter bounds uh, function to filter the satellite data into our region of interest and uh, we are also using filter date function to filter the satellite data to latest collection between january and uh, let's say may okay let us also filter the metadata for getting the cloud free so open our uh, image collection and uh, go to image properties so uh, copy the cloud pixel percentage in order to filter the cloud cover paste it in here and give the arguments uh, as less than one percent okay so let us take the median of values which are present in between these filters and let's click to our region of interest okay so let's visualize our image uh, what's there click on the run Uh, uh, 
you can see uh, we have the band so so let's uh, add this image to our map give run so you can see the layer is loading now so let's uh, set the band combination to true color composite 4 3 2 we are using a red green and a blue for the rgb band and uh, we are stretching the range to 100 percent click on the apply so yeah here you can see the true color composite uh, of the satellite image which we have clipped out uh, from our satellite okay so if you want you can import or you can simply close it okay now let us uh, calculate uh, the enhanced vegetation index let's create a variable as uh, evi is equal to uh, so in this variable we are creating uh, an expression for the image which we have created so let's select that image image dot create the expression okay now we have to specify the expression and we have to give the input so uh, let's uh, write the expression as uh, 2.5 it should be a string okay so 2.5 into uh, our uh, near infrared band minus red band and it should be divided by Near infrared band and add six multiplied by our red band and uh, minus seven point five again multiplied by our blue band and add one. If you want, you can. Uh, yeah, I think this is enough. And uh, to map, uh, we should specify uh, what are the red bands and what are the near infrared bands. So in the near band, I can give. So we are selecting the near infrared band. Uh, we know B8 is the near infrared band. It should pass as a list. Also, the red band and from the image we are selecting the red band. B4 is the red band for the sentinel and uh, blue band from the image let's just select b2 is the blue band okay so that's it guys so you want uh, you can rename it rename it as uh, EVI band EVI
so yes guys our expression is ready now uh, i will explain this expression once again so we are using the function dot expression uh, for the image which we have created earlier and uh, it needs uh, two arguments the expression and the map in the first tab uh, we will uh, create an expression and in the second tab that is map uh, we are defining uh, our bands that is uh, the near infrared band uh, the red band and the blue band from the image we are selecting uh, the b8 for the near infrared and b4 for the uh, red band and the b2 for the blue band and we have renamed this band in the evi image as evi in the caps so let's add evi to the map and uh, we can also create uh, the visualization parameters so uh, as uh, minimum value should be minus one it's a range and maximum value should be one and uh, the palette it means the color combinations should be the uh, red for the negative values and the uh, white for the neutral and uh, green for the vegetated areas and uh, rename it as enhanced vegetation index click on the run uh, so this guys uh, here you can see the green and the white areas and uh, you can see the no red areas because we have given the range from minus one to one so let's uh, stretch this uh, range to its original values as you can see it ranges from minus 0 0.011 to 0 0.801 and uh, click on the apply now so yeah yes guys now you can see the red areas which are in the negative values and uh, the white indicates for the neutral and the green indicates for highly vegetated areas uh, so let's click on any of the values uh, using the inspector column so the value is 0 0.5 at that point and if i think this is a water body so if you click on there here you can see it is 0 0.04 so yes guys so this is how you can calculate an enhanced vegetation index so using uh, the expression in the google earth engine so that's it for today guys uh, thank you for watching if you have any kind of queries and doubts uh, you can post it in the comment section thank you for watching once again bye